Hi, honeys. It's Michelle. I'm here today to do a thrift haul. I love doing thrift hauls because I love going to thrift shops. You never know what you're going to find. I went to two different thrift shops. I went to the Assistance League. I'll find the link for it and put it down in the description box down there, just in case you're interested in it. But it's this wonderful place that uses the proceeds that they make with their shop to help kids and also help feed um, people who are hungry. So it's really wonderful, some of the things they do. They've got a bunch of information on their website. When I went in there, they had a deal where it was 50% off of their artwork that day. And so hopefully the glare's not too bad with this ring light here, but this is a photograph of the stars that's been framed and it's been professionally framed. So we got it for $5 and I got it for Brad. Um, he's, he wanted to have something for behind him for when he's doing conference calls at work and we have an office that we share here at the apartment. And so that's what he's going to put on the wall behind him, just kind of off to the side. So it's just kind of part of his personality. He loves astronomy. And so I was so excited when I saw that. I sent him a picture. Do you want this for your office? And he said, absolutely. So that's what I got for him. I also got something for me for my office. Now, this is not professionally framed. But it is beautiful. It's a watercolor. I think it's a print by Fern or Fernay, Feme. I'm not sure. It says Victorian houses on it. And I got this to put um, above my desk in the office. I love having beautiful artwork in my office. And it was $5 for this one as well. And then I got these necklaces. I got this one. I just thought it was so super pretty. That one was four dollars. And then this one was five dollars. But I just thought these were so pretty. I thought this one would be great. With any shirt, really, anything that has any of these colors in it, it would just look nice. Or maybe even just like a simple black t-shirt. Just put something like that on with it and just kind of liven it up a little bit. And then with this one, I thought this would be cute too with a dress or with maybe a white t-shirt. Just something real pretty to liven up whatever I'm wearing. And that was all that I got at the Assistance League. Then I went to the Goodwill. And I found this. I am a record lover. I, in my oh so humble opinion, there is nothing like the sound of a good record. I don't think CDs or um, streamed music sound the same, and especially not cassette tapes. To me, it's all about the record. Um, so this is the complete Tommy Dorsey volume three, 1936 to 1937 bluebird. Um, I got it for 99 cents. And I think that this will be fun to just have on in the background when I'm reading or something. Now there is a song on here though, that I really like. So that was a big thing too. If there's at least one song that I love on a record, um, I'll usually go ahead and give it a chance. This one has, they can't take that away from me, which is a really good song. But if you are a fan of records, I really recommend going to thrift shops. They're usually a dollar, somewhere between one and three dollars each. Now this is kind of funny. I, before, between the Assistance League and the Goodwill, I went to one other thrift shop and I didn't find anything in there. And I overheard 
somebody talking to someone that works there. And I'm not going to say what store it was because, I don't know, I just don't want to. But, she, oh, I'm sorry, it was 89 cents for the record. That's right, if you sign up for the VIP program at the Goodwill, you save, I think it's 10 or 15% when you shop there on things that aren't half off. Um, but they were talking about how <laughs> the Goodwill has just gotten way too expensive. And I think, well, that, that could be true. But when I went to this, from this store to the Goodwill, I was shocked at how cheap everything seemed price-wise compared to the store I had just been in. And I thought, are they saying that so people don't go to the Goodwill? Because everything was half the price, if not less, at the Goodwill than at this other thrift shop. So I wasn't quite sure why they were saying the Goodwill was overpriced, but okay. <laughs> I did get two shirts. I will save those for last and I will try them on for you over in the corner of the screen. I got some books and some housewares. Let's see. I'll show you the housewares and then the books and then the clothes. Does that sound good? I found this little guy. I had to bring him home. He just seems so cute for Thanksgiving. This candle holder. Wouldn't that be pretty? On the mantle, just lit up or on a shelf or something. I just thought that was super cute. Just a glass votive holder. And I got that for a dollar fifty. <laughs> I just thought he was too adorable. He had to come home with me. And I can't believe I got this, but <laughs> I got this set of I've got to go through it and clean it, but it's a set of serverware and everything in it is silver, real silver. So I haven't looked at it up close yet and obviously it needs to be cleaned. But I got this for $8.99 for all these. I just can't believe this. Can you imagine what they're going to look like when I get them all cleaned up? They're so pretty. <gasps> right? If I ever have a really fancy party, that's going to be in the ice bucket, right? <laughs> There's a bunch of these cute little olive forks, which I always have olives out on holidays. I couldn't not get this, you know? Sorry about the AC. It's hot in here, you guys. I just can't turn it off. It's kind of funny. It almost kind of looks like claws on a bird or something. Look at this ladle. all that detail on there and then oh this is for salad oh wow it says eels e-a-l-e-s 1779 italy silver plate Wow, that's, I think that's pretty good stuff, right? Um, so there's three of these, and this says King Cotton on it. Oh, so they're all different brands? Let's see. This one is BC Co. This one says Fila dot like Philadelphia maybe dot I'm not sure hmm I have to look some of these up this one with the claws on it says it was made in India a set of four of these and they say King Cotton and then down on the closer to the 
prongs, it says, sorry, my eyes are super good, but they're not that good, huh? Um, On Oneida Hotel Plate. Oneida, I've seen that brand at Macy's before, I think. And there's two of these, and these say International Silver Plate is what these these two say. Then there's this one. It says Community Stainless by Oneida. So I guess this one's stainless steel, not silver. And then this last thing says 1847 Rogers Brothers TS Heritage. I, I am shocked at how beautiful these are. I mean, I'm going to have to clean them, obviously. But, wow, right? I am throwing quite the party, quite the soiree one day. <laughs> and you're all invited. So those are the housewares. Then I got some books. Don't worry, I'm not going to bore you with the details. I know a lot of you don't like books. I do have a separate book page now. Here's the name of it up here. I will also link it at the end of this video. If you want to hear more about what these books are about, please feel free to swing on over to my book channel. The first book that I got was Daisy Jones and the Six. One of her, uh, Taylor Jenkins Reid is her name, one of her other books that she's about to come out with uh, sparked the reminder in my brain that I haven't read this yet. And I want to read her other book, and I thought, well, maybe I should get this. I'm not sure when I'll actually read it, but I do have it in my collection now for when I'm ready to read it. I need more books, though. Like, I don't need them. <laughs> But for some reason, I cannot stop buying them. Green was the half-off color today, and so I did get this book for a dollar. Then I got Virginia Woolf. Her, the book was uh, Mrs. No, sorry. Then I got Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf. I got this for a dollar as well. And I've always wanted to read Virginia Woolf. So I figured, why not, why not start with this one? Then I got The Air Affair. This, I'm not going to go into what it's about, but it does have something to do with Jane Eyre. And I'm working on something for my book channel where I'm going through a myriad of books that are either Jane Eyre or Jane Eyre inspired. And so now I have another one to read before I can make that video. <gasps> I don't need more books, you guys, but here we are buying more books. So this is a dollar also. <laughs> then I got The Wizard of Oz and Other Narcissists. Coping with the One-Way Relationship in Work, Love, and Family by Eleanor D. Payson. We probably all have at least one narcissist in our life. And I definitely have more than one. I've got two people that come to mind right off the bat. And I really need help understanding not just them and how to work with them, but how to work with other narcissists that I might come across in my day-to-day -day life, maybe at work or what have you. So I really wanted to give this a chance. I got it for a dollar. So this book is how to identify unhealthy narcissism in someone, how to establish boundaries with them, and how to heal the underlying wounds that might come from having them in your life. <laughs> uh, I know, it's rough though. If you've ever dealt with a narcissist, it is really difficult. And then the last book, okay, this is one, um, if you do watch or if you did watch my book videos before I switched them to a different channel, I did a book haul at a bookstore that was going out of business and they had a bunch of books on sale of course 
And one of the books that I really wanted to get that was not on sale, and they had it for $30 or something, was this one. It is Get Happy, The Life of Judy Garland by Gerald Clark, the author of Capote. And somebody taped this in the front. Since I've been wanting this book, I went ahead and indulged myself <laughs> with getting yet another book. Uh, this one was $1.50. Instead of the $30, I would have paid for it at that other place. So I thought that was a really good deal. And then the last two things I got were clothing items. I found this shirt. You guys know by now, if you've been watching me for a little bit, I'm obsessed with LuLaRoe shirts. So I found this one. It was $2.50. It's a 3X and it's got a high-low cut on it with a little bit of a scoop neck, but I just find these so comfortable and it's so easy to wear them with anything. I can wear them with skirts, leggings, jeans, capris, shorts, you name it. And that's part of why I love them so much. They're just really nice for this desert heat too. And the other thing I like about them is usually the length of the arms hits me a little lower than this or all the way down to here. So it hides a little bit more of my arm chub. <laughs> And then I got this one. This one, the brand is Kokomo. Made in Cambodia. It's an extra large. And it just got me in that summer mood. It feels like the kind of shirt that I would wear if I was going on a beach vacation. And I don't know if I'm going on one, but I want to go on one. I'm dreaming of going on one. So I thought, while I'm doing all this, beach reading that I've purchased. Maybe I'll pretend I'm going to the beach even more and wear something like this with some cute shorts or something. <laughs> Why not? Right? But I just thought this was cute. It's stretchy. I love the detailing on the front, though it's got kind of the, the tuxedo detail here. I like the buttons. I like the metal buttons. Just thought it was super cute. Nice, pretty, bright color. I'm definitely a bright color, bright pattern kind of girl. <laughs> it's the artist in me. I love bright, loud, insane looking things. So, all right. Well, that's everything that I got. Let me know what your favorite item was. Let me know if you've been getting any good finds at any thrift shops lately. I want to know. I want to know. Let me know if you've been having good luck at garage sales, anything like that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or night. I love you. Bye.